Well, will it finally be a din for the men in uniform? Plagued with the paucity of critical requirements, delays and pending reforms, can the armed forces finally expect expediency with a new dispensation taking over? Well, with the outgoing government, they've become used to stalled decision-making and a complete aversion to taking risks and efficiency. Well, following a marathon exercise, the armed forces have drawn up a priority list for the new government and the new minister, Arun Jaitley, stressing on rebuilding morale and regaining depleted power. Our special correspondent, Jugal Puroit, brings us this in-depth report on just what it is that the armed forces seek from the Modi Sarkar. Ache Din Ane Wale Hai was a popular tagline of the Narendra Modi campaign. Main Narendra Damodar Das Modi. Now that it has got him the high job, can he promise Ache Din to the men in uniform who have long awaited a decisive leadership? Challenges to the defence of India can emerge from anywhere. Forces tasked with delivering on this, however, are being asked to make do. With modernization and acquisition pending despite a decade of stability, the situation staring at the men in uniform is alarming to say the least. Even though at the end of the UPA decade, a period of relative peace for the forces charged with the defense of India, many long-held acquisitions were executed. The modernization story, however, is yet to even reach its midpoint. As a result, for the armed forces, the requirements are now at critical and basic levels. For the Air Force, the question is about acquiring more number of fighter jets as well as trainer aircrafts. For the Navy, it's about submarines and helicopters. For the Army, it's now about a rifle and ammunition. Thus, at a time of transition, when an incoming regime will soon hold fort inside the South Bloc, this massive exercise is being done with as much anticipation and hope as anxiety. Headlines today learns that for the Army, the priority list consists of basic equipment and policies, the unavailability of which have caused serious depletion of power and hard burn among personnel. The AG's branch and the Military Operations Directorate have jointly drafted the list which seeks more guns for artillery, rifles and ammunition for infantry, replacement of flight helicopters, chetaks and cheetahs and funds for strategic rail links in the northeast followed by road development where only 16 out of the 73 have materialized. Given that General Bikram Singh is presently the chairman of the Chiefs of Staff Committee, the Army will also speak on early implementation of one rank, one pension, rank pay and representation for the armed forces in the 7th Pay Commission. While for the Indian Navy, a fleet tasked with guaranteeing India's trade and energy security, the list includes follow-on order for six conventional diesel-electric submarines under the Project 75I, 16 multi-role helicopters for offshore and onshore activities, as well as eight modern mine countermeasure vessels which can ensure security of ports, the lifeline of any country's trade and energy. For the sentinels of the sky, their desperate plea is for early conclusion and execution of the MMRCA deal by which India is to get 126 French Rafale fighter aircraft. Touted as the mother of all defence deal, it is widely believed to be a doable deal if the required political initiative is present. With the MiG-21s ageing and the Tejas Mark II yet to take off from the drawing board, the worry is about keeping the minimum squadron strength from dipping further. Along with that, the nation's air defence preparedness is another area of worry as obsolescence sets in. Uh, these are something which is staring us in the face. There are other uh, force multipliers like the flight refueling aircraft, the additional AVACs which need to come in, the additional C-130s, six more, uh, the Apache helicopters, the Chinooks. Chinooks are vital. So heavy lift is one priority area which must come. But will equipment solve everything? There is a cost involved mm -hmm. when decisions are delayed. And that cost is both financial and in terms of national security. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the present government, or the new government, which will, I beg your pardon, the new government which will come in, mm -hmm. will have to work on that front and 
you know, get onto your uh, decision-making mechanisms in a much faster time frame. While the Prime Minister's theme of development has certainly caught the nation's imagination to protect and deliver on it, he will need the military muscle to flex. Only time will however tell how well he enabled the men in uniform in doing so. With Bureau Inputs, Jugal Purohit in New Delhi for Headlines Today. Our defence correspondent Jugal Purohit is with us for much more on this extremely important story. Jugal, uh, fighter aircraft, submarines, uh, you know the entire gamut of stuff required for the Indian Armed Forces have been completely adrift for the last 10 years. No major decisions, complete you know, morale killer as far as the soldier on the ground is concerned. And the interesting thing is we've got an ad hoc defense minister, as it were. It's not even a full-time uh, ministership for now. What kind of signal is that sending out? Absolutely, Shiv. In fact, uh, this very signal has uh, actually dejected a lot of observers and uh, uh, the very fact that Arun Jaitley had to come on the first day itself to the Defence Ministry and, you know, say it in as many words that Defence Ministry is an extremely important ministry. I will be devoting as much time to Defence as to Finance till the Cabinet expansion takes place. Gives us a sense of just uh, how, uh, you know, how, how neglected this uh, ministry feels. Uh, and, uh, Shiv, the issue is that uh, it's, it's rather surprising that after 10 years of relative peace and stability uh, it's basic equipment that the forces are looking for we just saw ammunition rifle for army helicopters submarines for the navy fighter jets for the air force this is the kind of uh, situation that they find themselves in yeah. it looks as if they've all uh, they've also you know almost fought a big war and are are completely depleted so the situation is 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 very very delicate right now what they do want is that there should be fast decision making there should be promptness there should be transparency and above all a, an objective to ensure that the armed forces are equipped and uh, Shiv also yes. uh, yesterday we are aware General Bikram Singh met uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi he apprised them very soon I'm given to understand maybe in a week or so there will be a full-fledged presentation with the air chief naval chief army chief and the defense secretary actually apprising the government of the kind of situation that they face and what is it that they want Shiv all right, uh, did you guys just stay on for a, uh, for a second with us? Uh, we've got all of those pictures on your screen showing all those crucial decisions that need to be taken by Arun Jaitley. Great deal, even though he's an ad hoc defense minister and will be handing over to a full-time defense minister in just a couple of weeks in his own words. Uh, even in those two weeks, a lot can be done as far as the MOD is concerned. It just requires the political will, which perhaps was so lacking in the outgoing dispensation. Thanks very much, Jugal, for that exclusive special report. In-depth, very important national security is a big focus for us here on Headlines Today.